In order to change the pitch of a song, you're going to need uh, to download Audacity, which is a free software. First thing you want to do is drag your file into Audacity, and it automatically kind of pulls it up. It's a great drag and drop quality. Then you want to highlight the whole song. You want to go up to the top of the menu and change. Uh, you want to go to change pitch. You want to pick the original key that your song is in. This song is originally recorded in F sharp. You can choose to go up or down. We're obviously going to be going up to G. So then you pick the pitch that you're going to. Then you hit OK, and it will automatically convert your song to that pitch. There you go. Now let's just give it a quick listen. You're on the phone with your girlfriend. She's upset. She's going off about. Now, as you can hear, the quality of the voice changes a little bit. Um, it'll change more depending on how much you change it. So then we're going to go to export. We want to export the file as a WAV file. I'll show you how to make it into an MP3 in a moment. Exporting it directly as an MP3 from Audacity always is a little troublesome for me. I'm going to name the file, put it to desktop, hit save. Then it'll allow you to name the file. As you'll see, it's popping up there on the desktop. I'm going to change the name of the file, just the end of it, to in G, which I technically could have done earlier, just to make it easier to remember which one it is so I don't get confused. Now I have it in iTunes, and then I can change, uh, create MP3 version by right-clicking the song and picking that. Now I have an MP3 version and a WAV version. I'm just going to quickly rename this one so I know which one it is. And now I have that MP3 file to use however I need.